Hello, sleepyheads, and welcome back to Until They Sleep. I'm your host, Daniel, joined by my lovely wife, Chantel. Episode 44, kicking it off. 44 episodes, so thanks a lot for the ride. I still can't believe we're at 44. That's kind of crazy. Uh, time goes by fast. I guess the year anniversary is coming soon, too. So, Yeah, it uh, is. New intro song going on there. A little spooky. Yes, our son, our 11-year-old, recorded this for us uh, several months ago. Uh, and we're finally trying it out. Yeah, he kind of brought it up and... Uh, so yeah, we are out of that. We we're like, oh well, why, mom surprised me with it and uh, interesting drop. Let us know what you guys think about that. Yeah, he's he's been experimenting with music. He's not the only one. Our our fifteen year old used to do this as well, and I had asked both of them for music for our our podcast for our intro and outro, and the only one who stepped up was our eleven year old with this the sound. It uh, is. But uh, so. Well, my wife hit me up the other day, sent me a text that she started re-listening to the first episodes and she's like, oh, I want to edit stuff and I want to cut stuff off. And I was like, don't you freaking dare uh, leave it like that because those are good bones to learn from our mistakes and we can go back and listen to it and see what we can perfect and change and, you know, build off that or, or see if we just continue to make the same mistakes over and over and over again. Well, I guess that's where feedback comes in handy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we talk about everything. I mean, I think you've noticed it. It's family, but it's issues with family or how to raise a teenagers or kids or. And I'm sure there's some of those subjects we can retouch on. Yeah. At some uh, point. I still want to do the stuff that my wife always wanted to cover, you know, so I guess at times when she hosts, she'll do like whatever she wants to talk about, be it medicine, vitamins. Um, yeah. All that good stuff. When I have a minute to yeah, remind do, myself about all this. Right, things. right, right. Yeah, and, uh, and her hectic, crazy schedule. Um, but uh, so it's that time of year. It's uh, the one holiday that most people forget about that between Thanksgiving, I mean, between uh, Halloween and uh, Christmas time. So it's Thanksgiving time. Yes. I mean, you can't even find great decorations for Thanksgiving. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, you can. I mean, it's just leftovers from Halloween. I yeah, guess. Pumpkins. It, well, I know. Actually, I did see a, a cool thing today where somebody turned all their pumpkins into snowmen. They just... They stacked them on top uh, of each yeah, other. Yeah, and so? they painted them all white, and they added, like, little branches and noses to it. I, I think I would really do that for cute. Christmas, but I think you can probably stack them like that for Thanksgiving. That would be funny. Yeah. Know? Instead but, of instead of like the hanky shift and stuff like that, or yes. do like a straw hat, yeah. you can still stack them with little lights. Maybe, yeah, something. The cute. opposite I'm side sure of it didn't get cut. Something you know? we could have done. Well, I I found a turkey holding a little Thanksgiving banner, sitting on top of a jack o' lantern, an inflatable. So we have that out in the yard now. Yeah. So our Halloween stuff came down, but uh, at least that guy went up there, and uh, we have another character that you got. Uh, that hasn't been put out. I um, know, because I'm kind of torn between him being ho- too Halloweeny. I know he's a scarecrow, or he's dressed as a scarecrow, but he's holding a jack o' lantern. I was supposed to put him out today, and I forgot. Yeah, the our little one. He's on asking about it. Uh, she's been asking me how my back is doing, and if I feel good enough to do it. Of course, I haven't been feeling good enough to do it, but yeah. Uh, you know, she's like, oh, let's surprise mom for when she gets home. You know, I was like, uh, we can, it'll be out there. Yeah. And that's because you've been home for the last week with a bad back. Yeah. Sitting sucks. Uh, walking sucks. Standing up sucks. I've um, never felt something like this. Um, so, yeah, it's been, it's been very frustrating for me. Yeah. I'm uh, sorry. I still think you need an adjustment. But again, if we go for an adjustment and your back is inflammated, it's not going to yeah. help. Yeah, so, well, it's uh, Thanksgiving time. Uh, some people like to celebrate it, some people don't. Uh, I want to do a uh, pick-up movie for Thanksgiving that you will want to watch with your family or loved ones on, on that day just, you know, to make it kind of like a, you know, we have movies that we watch during a certain yeah. time. Yeah, so. and what, what would your movie be? I uh, I have my notable mention would always be uh, Scent of a Woman. Uh, it's based during the Thanksgiving time. Um, I Al Pacino and I have not seen that Chris movie. O'Connell? So I don't even remember what who's in it. I just know Whoever that robbing guy was blind. with George Clooney. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's Scent of a Woman. I really liked that movie. My brother got me into that. My, my middle brother, he, uh, he used to play. He, he liked it. He liked that movie a lot. To me, it was weird to see Al Pacino play that character, but he did a great job uh, playing a blind guy. 
So yeah, that's my notable mention. But the one that I would like to watch for Thanksgiving that I enjoy, um, call it you know being a murder mystery fan or a uh, a clue fan, um, because I really got into this whole murder mystery lately. I don't know if it's because of you and all your podcast <laughs> about killing uh, serial killers, but uh, I will go killing? with I, I will go with Knives Out. Uh, oh, that's my that is a good movie. I didn't realize. Well, in retrospect, yes, you're right. It is a Thanksgiving. Yeah, it movie. is a Thanksgiving movie, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, in my head, when when I had originally thought about this, I was like, I don't know any Thanksgiving movies. The only movie that I ever put on for the kids, or I put on TV when the kids ask for a Thanksgiving movie, is the Adams Family Values. That's the only one, and and then there's of course Charlie Brown. They have. I haven't seen that since I was a kid. I haven't seen them since I was a kid either. But our kids have never seen the Peanuts or the Charlie Brown Thanksgiving one. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the Peanuts. Oh, okay. It sounded like you said something wrong. I'm sorry. Peanuts. Charlie Brown. Charlie. Snoopy. I, Snoopy. In, in my, oh, you know what? It was another uh, Thanksgiving movie, but I never saw this. There was that, that movie about the turkeys. Right? It was it free, free Birds, right? Freebirds, yeah. There was a Thanksgiving movie uh, about turkeys. It was a cartoon movie. Uh, okay, I don't know if I'm right. I don't know if it was e- Ewan McGregor or was it or was it George Clooney that was in it. I forgot about that movie. I just looked it up right now. I have to know who I was have in it. No idea. I have to know. Yeah, it's a. It's, so I guess I'll be watching this. It came out in 2013. So that that's hilarious. All right. Well. Uh. So, you have any notable mentions for you? No. Oh, oh, it's oh peanuts. I said the peanuts. Just the peanuts. Um, yeah. The Charlie, Charlie Brown. Browns. Yeah. That's like, I wonder. Um, there's a lot of I I I uh there is another one uh that that I uh I did see and I didn't realize it was a uh, completely forgot about it. That is a Thanksgiving movie that I enjoyed when I was a teenager. It was Son in Law with Polly Shore. Oh, I remember. You that. Remember that movie? Yes. It was, it was, Who doesn't remember Polly Shore? I mean, if you're our age and you don't remember Polly Shore, yeah, it was. Uh, remember she's going back home for the yes. holidays and she takes him with him. Yes. And, all right, I was way off. So, I, yeah, I never seen this movie. So this Freebird movie has Woody Harrelson and Owen Wilson uh, on it. It's about turkeys trying to get a free. Uh, oh. They have to go back in time and change hers. Okay, wow. I don't think. And get turkeys off the Thanksgiving menu for good. Okay. Okay, we've never seen that. <laughs> never seen that. But for me, honestly, the only movie I ever really think about is Adam's Family Values. Uh, yeah, yeah, that that iconic scene of uh, uh, Wednesday and uh, hijacking the the Thanksgiving play the at play. the camp. Mm-hmm, yep, and her brother dancing around as a turkey. <laughs> the turkey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's true. <laughs> That is true. Yeah. Oh, there you go. So, uh, so that's, yeah. that's 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 those are good ones, I guess. Yeah, I did put a, a story out, you know, asking people to chime in on what their favorite Thanksgiving movies are. So. Oh yeah, you did. Wait to see. Wait to know, see who responds. All right. Um, I also know that you reached out to some people and asked about uh, Thanksgiving traditions. Yeah, because you know these days, it seems like a lot of people either do or don't celebrate thanksgiving it feels like they don't because again there's no hype for thanksgiving it's halloween and then it's christmas immediately after halloween so it feels like this whole fall thanksgiving being grateful for the things you've been blessed with gets lost so i reached out to a couple of old friends and i asked them if they celebrate and if they do like what is their tradition at feast time Mm. And I also put a post for this on the stories to see what what other people. My stories you mean on the Instagram, right? On Instagram, yes. Okay. And also on Facebook. And the generalization I I got back was common um, in all the responses was that a lot of people do potlucks. Potlucks like family potluck. Yeah. So whoever's house they're getting together at, everyone brings something. It's not just one person in charge of cooking. Which is different here with us, right? Because oh, it does. Yeah, no, we it, don't. My dad's side of the family also does a lot of potluck thing, but I mean, it's a huge freaking family. I yeah, mean, there's a lot uh, of people. And, and from conversing with my friends, they also made it seem like it's a big thing because it it seems like a lot of people get together. So they've got their immediate family and their extended family. So they've got 
you know, sisters-in-laws and brother-in-laws and grandparents and aunts and uncles, and they all get together at someone's house, and everybody brings something. something. Yeah. So they coordinate about what they're bringing. Yeah. So, you know, they might be told, oh, it's your turn to bring the mashed potatoes or your turn to bring pie or whichever it is. And then, of course, you've got uh, – I had another friend who she said she goes between – two different houses so she goes to her uh, in-laws house first and then afterwards she goes to her family yeah house. i hate that mm-hmm. um and then i had another friend who said that her in-laws celebrate the weekend before thanksgiving and her immediate family celebrates on the day of at her mom's house okay well so, that's how it works yeah now. well i imagine if you've got a lot of people showing up schedule wise maybe that's the only that's the best time for everybody to get yeah together. i guess i guess if you yeah you're gonna try to cater to everybody else right? yeah so those are some of the things i got back but it's very different than what we do all right so uh, fill the people in what do we do what do we do we, what do we do now? We, so at one point we used to do the driving around thing between families when our before we had our our kids our own kids and I think when we still had the first one, we still drove around. First one, yeah. Yeah. But once we had the second one, you had said, okay, we're, we've now got two kids and nobody else had kids. So we're, you know, if people want to hang out with us, they can come to us. And that's kind of how we've, we've had it ever since. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it, it was, it's just it, and then our second one. Uh, he was very hard on the car. As a baby, yeah, yes. as a baby, he was he was uh he, he didn't like being in the car too long. So uh, me, it you know, really being bad. in San Diego and your family being up north in uh, the Riverside area and that hour hour and a half drive commute between them trying to balance. Uh, yeah, that wasn't fun for him. He hated that. It wasn't and, fun and for not us. Stop crying and <laughs> screaming and kicking and throwing stuff around. And it so, was really bad. And then the traffic on top of that. Uh, and then you had like divorced parents, so there was that one couple of years I think that we went like we were at my dad's for a few. Then we went up north to see your mom and your aunt, and grandma, because they all live you know in the area together. And then your brothers were there, and then we left to go see your dad also. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, and with your dad, he was married at the time, and that lady had her kids too. So it was just, it was just, I, I thought it was too much driving, too much going on. And um, I was like, yeah, man, forget this. I can't do this no more. Um, yeah, especially with the second one. He he really did make it difficult to. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it was cool. But I, you know, one thing I always remember about when we celebrated with your, your um, mom's side was that they always um, they always went all out. You know, they invited friends. Uh, mm-hmm. they, you know, they had like a group of friends and, and families, cousins, uh, whatever. Everybody would come together. And they would always make three turkeys. And you never know what you're going to get with those three turkeys. Either yeah, uh, one overcooked, were... one not cooked. Yes. And one, <laughs> one, uh, Either one... way, none of them were ever edible. Yeah. <laughs> or the one was usually good well... and it would disappear like fast. And because yeah. there were so many people, you wouldn't yeah. get it. Uh, so, yeah. So, but it was a more traditional thing. Um, so yeah, uh, so uh, yeah, no, and I like, uh, I, I, I like just being at home. I really do because the traveling, like we said, it's so much and it's so draining and it kind of gets you in a bad mood. And not to mention for me, Thanksgiving, when I think Thanksgiving, I think, uh, football. So, um, I, I look forward it, to the football games. I did think about getting you an inflatable turkey that was dressed as a football player. That would have been cool. I would have liked that. Why not? Maybe for next year. Yeah, maybe. I think uh, I saw one, but he kind of looked like a hockey player. And that was, uh, I was like, ah. Are you against that? that. No, not at all. No, no, no. I love hockey. I love hockey more than I love football, actually. (laughs) It was just weird. What? (laughs) A Hispanic that likes hockey? (laughs) Well, and your family, like you were saying, it's all like potluck, right? Yeah, well. Uh, so obviously, my mom's side of the family we never celebrate Thanksgiving. You know, they're very uh, Mexican, so that's not a holiday. Um, also, because it's you know part of the native thing, so uh, don't celebrate the colonizers, uh, <laughs> the colonizers' day. Yeah. Uh, on my dad's side of the family, you know, it was more, um, more, more, more. I, w- I wouldn't say whitewash, but you know, Americanized. Yeah. It's still whitewash. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, my, uh, I mean, yeah, we're Americans, so. So, uh, yeah, they always celebrate it. Um, and so we was uh, at uh, one of uh, my sister's house, and everybody brings something. You know, they coordinate and says, hey, what do you want to bring? Okay. 
I'll bring the ham friends, and yeah. I'll bring mashed potatoes. Uh, I'll bring pies. I'll bring, you know. Of course, everybody says that they're going to bring one thing, but they always show up with a 12 pack of beer. Uh, that thing is always, uh, you can always count on that thing yeah, to show up. <laughs> the beer. Well, you know what they're planning to do all night. Yeah. I think most households are like that, but not ours. Uh, going back to our household, because we don't really have, well, I don't have a lot of family with kids uh and we're not close to your family no one really comes over yeah, other and, than my brothers and the fact that i live uh, uh, we live out here um for them is too much of a drive so they use that as an excuse i mean remember when we only lived like north of that one freeway uh-huh. and then it was like oh you guys live all the way over there like only 15 <laughs> freaking minutes yeah people. from and where you like, guys <laughs> You know, it's like it's like uh, anything if, you, if north, you know, yeah, if you north know of eight. north of the eight, Interstate eight, in uh, San Diego, it's like a different world. But everything south of that is kind of like kind of borderline, <laughs> borderline kind of TJ, kind of so Chula Vista, Chula, you know, Chula, Chula Juana. Juana. Uh, so yeah, my oh my dad's side of the family, they all live down there. The yeah, and then we live. I always live north. We of the live eight. north of the eight, yeah. And uh, yeah, so then. They would say, oh, it's so far. Now imagine us moving an extra 40, 50 miles. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, your your Estás nephew. Loco. Your nephew, that's like a brother. For a while, they made the trek up to us because you were still frying a turkey. Yeah, we fried but a we turkey. we stopped frying the turkey. Yeah. And they stopped coming. Yeah, they stopped. Because <laughs> they just came for the fried turkey. You think they ever think that that maybe I stopped making the fried turkey so they wouldn't come over? I have no idea. That's a good question. Yeah. I've never thought that. Yeah, I haven't until right now. I just started thinking about it right now. Well, did you want them to stop coming over? No, I, I, I love like, them. I like yeah. I like having them come, come over. Well, they, they have they have uh, two little boys. And, yeah. And they... they their their gap is perfect because one is in between both of our boys mm-hmm. and uh, the youngest one is uh, the, same the age, age as, of, our as our baby daughter. Yeah. So, so and I love the kids. Uh, we love seeing them. It's just with us being up here now. I especially love being around those kids because I can be stern and hard on them because they're boys, mm-hmm. and I they're my brother's kids or well, my nephew's kid. So he respects the whatever scolding i might give them if they're wrong or something if i correct them while when your side of the family i feel that if i'm uh talk to them like to the kids like well there's only one yeah don't (laughs) don't scream at them or don't say this like you know like trying to be like a the village parent you know yeah but that's but i get it it's it's not my brother yeah it's their it's it's his first It's it's his first but i really think it's the mom that's more protective. Cause, well, that's what moms do. Yeah, but yeah. it regard it. Yeah, it doesn't matter because it, it doesn't matter because even let's say that if your cousins came over, yeah, and you, you have a cousin with two little girls, and they say that she was around, and if I went, but those girls are sweethearts, but still, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you could never see yourself scolding those little girls. But if, so yeah, nice. but let's just say you know, like, if, what if I say no, don't touch that or something? You know, maybe it's, it's too different. Much. Yeah, yeah, because I'm, I'm not blood. Yeah, I get so it. you know, sometimes you're kind of like extra defensive with people that are not blood, even though we've been family for 17 years yeah you know like in a way i mean we're not that close right yeah not, not that side of the family yeah, yeah. so if, i think if we spend like you know more time together maybe they would like oh i just know how he is so it's. No i wonder deal. if maybe one of these years we should invite them because like i know i'm not big on hosting it kind of stresses me out well yeah it's people stressful. because i i don't like not being able to pay attention to people and i think maybe that's why I get like, oh, everyone's going to come over just because I feel like I can't sit and enjoy anyone. Well, yeah, that's, I think that's the thing about when you have guests, right? Um, you're busy. Well, the way that we've done it is where you're busy kind of trying to, to, to host to make sure that all the food is ready and that everything's mm-hmm. going. You're kind of cutting in between conversations or having conversations and you have to leave because a kid needs something or you got to check on some dish or you got to go get drinks and then you come back and. You missed a chunk because they're not waiting for you. They're not, you know, they're they're still being yeah, yeah. Go over one another, having their conversation. So you miss off on stuff. Uh, so that's the part that sucks, you know. You're kind of like, eh. Yeah. Um, but I think it's also because we're a small group. You know, I think if it was like a bigger group, it would be less missed. I, I still think it's like a pretty Because like the big women group. usually hang out. Like the, the times I've been to get-togethers at your families, 
there's always a group of people hanging out somewhere. You know, yeah. they're either all in the kitchen or there's a group of people outside or there's a group of people on the sofa. You know, there's a group of people in the other room watching movies. So there's always someone to talk to. Right. You know what I mean? And yes, as the host, you kind of bounce around. But and that's what the beauty about doing making it a potluck is, right? Everything's yeah. already made. Everything's there. Everybody you just brings put something. it there. V versus we don't. So where I guess I started to go with and I got sidetracked was that we're not traditional anymore. So we used to be traditional with the fried turkeys and the stuffing and the mashed potatoes and the corn and the green beans with bacon. We used to do all of that. And at one point when we started just being us, we decided we're going to eat whatever we want. Yeah. So I just thought about one. I, I'll never forget it. I was sitting there. We were in the kitchen. And we were stressing about the whole Thanksgiving. And, and I was just like, to be honest, I think uh, I was a little tight on cash at that time. And I was like, I don't want to spend that much money on my peanut oil. Peanut right? oil, and yes. It's like, you know, we're talking about 90 bucks here just on oil mm -hmm. for like maybe one use. Because yeah. I'm going to be like, I'm not reusing this crap, yes. you know. Uh, so that was like the 90 bucks on that plus the turkey plus all this other stuff. And the main thing was the oil. And I think, yeah, no. I think it was, we could we, we got the, it too late. No. And my machine thing, my, my oh, little fryer yeah, yeah, or yeah. My, my little stove thing uh, had failed on me. So I needed to get a new one. So then I was like, wow, we're already talking about like over 120 bucks just, just on this one thing. And that's not including the turkey. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I, 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 just, I just didn't want to do that. And I was like, or I can just spend that. You know, say 150 bucks mm -hmm. and cover pretty much making all our favorite dishes. Like yeah. everybody gets to pick one. Yeah. And it's a reminder to be thankful for the things that we're able to have. Right. Yes. That we can have whatever we want. Right. So that was my lesson for the, for our kids. I mm -hmm. was like, you know what? We're going to, we're going to, we're going to change it. You know, we're going to change it up. Like, and I remember I didn't, I didn't tell them, I didn't tell you, or I didn't tell anybody out the front, up front. I was just like, if you can eat one thing, like your favorite dish, like you get to pick it, like mm -hmm. your last meal, what would it be? And, you know, our second born was like lasagna. Yeah. Like he didn't even. He like, loves lasagna. Boom, lasagna. We were like, all right, Garfield, got you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> he is our Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, and then. Uh, um, the eldest. The eldest said. Uh, meatloaf. What? Meatloaf. Oh, my God. How could I forget that? Yeah, he was like, meatloaf. I love grandma's meatloaf. Yes. I was like, all right, he likes grandma's meatloaf. Okay, so we'll ask grandma, see if she can make you a little meatloaf. Yes. Right? Uh, for me, it was easy. Uh, I was like, oh, steak. Yeah. You know, big fat steaks, T-bone steaks. I yes. want some T-bone steaks, like yeah. simple as that. And we were like, all right, T-bone steaks. We had that covered, right? Um, I think I asked uh, you. What, what did you pick? It was a Peruvian dish. I think it was... What? Lomo saltado. I don't even remember what yeah, the first it was, time was. It was lomo saltado. Was it? The, that's the one with the fries, right? And the yes. steak. Yeah, it was lomo saltado. You yeah. picked lomo saltado. And I mean, we still had mashed potatoes. Oh, no, yeah. And we and did the, the, the peas, the green, the the green, green beans, beans with, with bacon. bacon. Yeah, I, I think we only things. did that once or twice. You've done it twice. But we don't use the canned. No. I think my mom made it with canned. We were green all, beans nobody touched and it. And nobody liked it. N out of all, all of us. No. no. None, the kids. I you know what I remember? What? I'm sorry to cut you off. I just remember that our eldest asked me, called to ask. She was in high school. And she was like, Dad, what are you guys doing for Thanksgiving this year? Uh -huh. And I was like, oh, we're not, are, you, are you frying turkey like usual? And I was like, no, I'm not I'm not doing the fried turkey anymore. I want to do something else. She's like, oh, okay. And they had already told me they weren't coming over for Thanksgiving. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, no, we're doing something else. Uh, we're changing it up. We're doing our favorite dish. I was like, what if it was our last night together? Well, what's the one thing we want to eat? Mm -hmm. And it will make sense. Like, of course he would pick that. You know, that's something that that, that he likes. And uh, as soon as I said lasagna, she's like, can I come over? She's another Garfield. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, she loves lasagna. Can, like, but she was like, can mom make it with that spicy sausage she made that one time? Yeah. So we're like, all right, we'll make two. Yeah. <laughs> we'll make two lasagnas. We one for you and one one for a little man. And uh, yeah, and there, there was a cool thing. She came over, and I think after that, she tried to come over every time because she was like, I I, I like this Thanksgiving better. Well, I think it's just different because you eat whatever you want. It's but not that the table, same thing. that table looked. 
badass. Like that I don't table even think was. We took a picture of it. Like that table was like our little table. We have like a bar table, right? It's tall. It's like a five by bar five. Stool. Yeah, and it was squared. Like squared and everything. You know, it sits eight people, and we had our favorite foods. And uh, our brother in law, my brother in law, um, also got his dish in there, which I think he had said uh, he wanted the green. The green beans with bacon. Okay. He, I think he said green beans. Like I would like the green beans with bacon yes. that you make, sister. And yeah, because I make it with the French beans. Yeah, the mm-hmm. French beans, and then the bacon that we get is a little bit thicker cut yeah. and everything. Mm-hmm. Um. So he he because he loves that like that he wanted that, and I think we did that, and it worked out great. Like yeah. we we loved it. Like the table looked like 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 what the buffet commercials look like, you know? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like all this different Minus stuff. Minus the turkey yeah. and the stuffing. Yeah. Um and some people were like when they first heard about it, it's like, Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's sad, no turkey, you know. I was like, uh. Oh. Yeah, but, but but in the end the lesson was we're celebrating that we're grateful that we can have whatever we want. And there's people in the world who can't. Right. Right, right, yeah. So I thought it was a good lesson. I told the kids, you know, I was like, let's not be traditional here because we're not tra- we're not a traditional people. We're we're different. We grew up different. Mommy we grew up different. We have different backgrounds. Uh, we're a mix of cultures. I yes. mean, the main majority. Yes, we're Hispanic, right? But uh, but you know, we're mixed. You know, I mean, our DNA showed it when we took it. We're fifty yeah. fifty. You know, we're split. So half of my bloodline was kicking the other half of my bloodline. But <laughs> yeah. and I was ha- they were having a Thanksgiving fight you know it's like you colonizer you stole our land you know like it's the fair for the taking <laughs> so we're still going to celebrate the feasting portion of thanksgiving just not with a turkey <laughs> right <laughs> uh, and the turkey might come back one of these days of course yeah i mean and that was the other thing though we did thanksgiving the kids did ask me for turkey yeah. this year no we did thanksgiving and we also did the ham and it yes. would suck because the ham was a repeat when it came to the holiday Hol- to like december christmas Mm-hmm. Yeah, Christmas time. Uh, we or call Yule. it Christmas, but for me, it's Yule. Yeah. So the Yule ham. Well, our our eleven year old asked for ham this year. For, oh, for one of his dishes. Right? That yeah. was his dish. He's well. They both asked for turkey, but it was an afterthought initially. Our eldest asked for something I never expected him to ask for. It was a Peruvian dish called ají de gallina, and it's basically a shredded chicken in a spicy yellow cottage cheese sauce Peace. yeah it looks like uh, a baby diaper <laughs> kind of <laughs> yellow like that. a mustard you make it sound like, so like no 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 <laughs> like like gray poupon mustard like you know like that gray poupon yeah. like that color i'm just talking about the color kind well, of the consistency baby diaper first yeah. <laughs> well that made me think of gray poupon <laughs> so <laughs> it's like that and it's got like potatoes but they're like wedged like sliced like in ovals right it's just cut just like it's just a circle. Quarters. Okay. It's just they're yeah, just, the circles. Yeah, yeah so circles. like sliced. Mm-hmm. And then and then it has a chicken uh on it. It's shredded. I, I, I've had it with the full piece of chicken. Uh it's supposed to be shredded. Well, I, I don't know how it's supposed to be because I've never been to Peru to yeah. eat it. But we, in when, my family they usually shred it. Right. But your cousin made it one time with the full chicken. Oh, I don't remember. And it was good. Uh, I have to admit actually, it was good. Maybe we need to invite them one of these years because they are actually pretty good cooks. Like my, my my two yeah. twin cousins, yeah. Yeah, that was, it was, it was pretty good. Yeah. Like that, point, like I really, I think that was my favorite actually you know, that I've ever had. Okay. I was like, oh my god, this is so good. And then she was like, you like? It? I was like, I love it. Who made this? Like, I did. Yeah. And she said, you want some more? I was like, hell yeah! yeah. Like she's either I was really drunk, <laughs> no, and I really enjoyed it. It was really or it good. Was that good? She but, makes uh, it really well. Yeah, and they're they're pretty also good hosts. Yeah, they're, they're, they're great hosts. Yeah, they're great hosts. Uh, yeah. But I was surprised that our fifteen year old asked for that because it's not a dish we well, we very rarely have. He, this. he did tell me something. What did he tell you? He says um, that everybody just assumes that I'm just Mexican, but uh, they don't realize that I'm also poor Peruvian. Mm-hmm. And also, I kind of want to know more about well, that's good. Peruvian stuff. Well, he's got his grandma here, I, and I was like, "There's nothing wrong with that, bud. Like, that's good. Um, I mean, don't think that I'm going to be offended by that. You know, that's half your mom right there. You know, that's half your mom. You you have to you have to learn it. He's like, "What do you think that there was those moments when I, I'm proud of you know wearing cowboy boots and hats. You know, it's mm-hmm. my mom. It's you your know? heritage. Yes, yeah, yeah, what I grew up. I mean, you showed me a stupid video yesterday, and I was almost crying. I, you know, I was like, <laughs> yeah, the little boys riding lambs. <laughs> yeah, little little, little sheep. Yeah, and, uh, but a bunch of 
babies wearing helmets. I didn't wear no helmet. Well, different times, honey. Different times. Like, but I, you there. know, it's it's funny that he says that because my mom lives with us and he can ask her anything anytime. And he doesn't have the patience to talk to your mom. I'm pretty sure he doesn't because he doesn't have the patience to talk to me sometimes because I don't know anything, right? But mm-hmm. Anyways, I was surprised he asked for that dish. That's good. I'm, our, glad, I'm glad he did. Our seven year old or our 11 year old was actually very specific that he wants pineapple and cherries on his ham. Oh, yeah. That's why I was my, my sister Maya's like special too right yeah there. and then she uh, makes it oh, perfect didn't she also make like a pineapple upside down <sighs> cake that you love that was my other favorite thing that she <laughs> makes oh my goodness <laughs> man but you know what like i've tried to make the the ham with the pineapple and the cherries like my sister with the clothes on it and i've messed it up i've messed it up i've it's either glazed it too much i too much clove yeah. not enough clove i don't know what she did that just damn had the perfect space Hispanic freaking tricks of this much or that much, no no measurement cups or <laughs> spoons or anything. It's just the oh yes, yeah, feels right as the wind is blowing from east to west and <laughs> the brujeria <laughs> stuff, the bewitching stuff. Um, yeah, yeah, that just she, yeah. My, my, my sister Mike can cook. I'll give her I'll yeah. give her credit on that one. Well, our seven year old she asked for mashed potatoes and gravy. Mm, she was very specific that's all she wants is mashed potatoes and she actually had mashed potatoes and gravy on friday for school at her school that's a lot of taters she loves potatoes uh, oh potato the eldest go. told me too the same things like mom i realized i love potatoes i can eat <laughs> potatoes all day every day i'm like no, well, buddy, i guess that's cat. your that's your peruvian side no not the cat <laughs> not, the cat. not the cat the cat and then the baby, she just asked for cookies and she asked them. you for cookies and what else? She asked me for cookies and soda. And she asked me for yogurt and bacon. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> and she's, it's got to be the Greek honey yogurt. The okay? no Greek honey yogurt. Yeah. And I guess. Is that a brand? Greek honey. Yes. Okay. Not a sponsor. Not a sponsor. <laughs> um, and normally my dad would be here. Right. Right. My grandma passed away. Otherwise she'd be here too. But. My dad is out of the country. Right. Uh, he's in India this year, so he will not be here for Thanksgiving doing his yogi thing. Cool. Yeah. Well, he will and be And then missed. I have a brother, the youngest. He doesn't usually come, but I guess he's trying to make it this year. Uh, Yeah. So, you know, we've talked about it before. He lives pretty far from us. He has his business. Um, it's, is, it's it's money time for him. Yeah. You know, people are leaving town and they need boarding for their dogs. Yeah. So obviously, uh, I mean, if you're not hurting for money, I guess you can pass up on it. But why would you burn bridges for, uh, yeah. you know, future more Future income. clients, yeah. Or just loyal clients that you, he's had for years now. But, I mean, it's... Uh, and then that drive from L.A. over here, I can't imagine either. Yeah. And then my other... traffic's getting out of hand. People, go back to your states. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what they're saying over there to the Californians, right? Keep right? California out of my state or something. And then my other brother, who would also... Well, he, he goes when you're... Yeah, you know, alternates. With us when he alternates. Yeah. Um, he's at that alternating between family stage, but he now just had another baby, so they're going to stay, you know, with yeah, his in laws. Well, for me, like our Thanksgivings, uh, so go back to it, is more of a, like you said, being thankful for what we have for our family, for our little crazy, hectic, dysfunctional family. It's just, you know, I'm, I'm thankful that I have a family. It's something I always dreamed of having. Uh, I have broken families or, or temporary families or fake families, whatever you want to call them. Mm-hmm. But, you know, this is the only time in my life when I feel that I have my family. Yeah. And like you said, my dad, my dad's my dad. I love him. Always will. Always have. And uh, but we're not close. We don't talk. And I'm not missed. I'm not needed. So now I've finally have like you know my little my little my little clan here that that i enjoy so i'm thankful for that so for me that's part of the reason that i started really wanting to celebrate thanksgiving to let everybody know that i'm thankful because i know that i can be hard and i write everybody and i can be rude and and obnoxious uh, obnoxious no nah, not obnoxious um <laughs> sometimes just rude sometimes. and hard and uh pain in the arse but uh 
but just know guys that uh, I love you and and you guys say all mean the world to me and and um and even my girls even though they're grown up and they don't come around and when they don't drink in as often uh when they're starting their own life um you know I still love them and and, and I'm thankful that they came in their life in my life and and left the little imprints in there yeah so oh. I'll get to in Enjoy Don't be your sad, mind. honey. I'm not sad. I'm you just, look sad. No, I'm just I know saying people I'm thankful. can't see your face. But. Just saying I'm thankful. Well, well, come on. I mean, I didn't think I was gonna live this long, and I didn't think I was gonna do all the stuff that I've been doing. So, yeah. So it's nice. I mean, thanks for putting up for me. Uh, you know, are you, anybody else would have taken off a long time ago. Uh, would have quit on me. Uh, so mm-hmm. yeah, I'm thankful for that too. Well, I'm thankful for you and for the love and care you give to the family you know for being a good father and a good husband for putting up with my mother for i'm the referee between the two of you (laughs) i I, I, relate you've been the referee yes um i appreciate everything you do and i'm grateful and that you know the kids love you no i I, adore you um, that's good you're the fun one they remind me all the time (laughs) dad's so much more fun than you mom Uh, that's his job i'm a big kid i'm a big kid i think most dads are i'm a big kid um, yeah, and that includes your brothers too. You know, they've all three of them been cool. And, I think and, one and brother's really. coming. For well, sure. I hope so because he's to me that's my brother. You know, that's, but uh, he's the one who never eats with us. Yeah, but he's here. Yeah, I know. He doesn't eat with us, but he drinks with me. Yeah, that's true. Well, I think he only comes to drink. Him and me used to have this thing uh, back when your maternal grandmother lived. Uh, when I, we first started our Thanksgivings, um, we would. After the dinner and everything. I don't know if you remember this. I don't recall. We would go outside. Oh, to smoke a cigar. Yeah, we would have our whiskey and our cigar. And mm-hmm. to me, that right there was like my highlight for the night. Bonding time. Yeah, it's just awesome. Because it's finally somebody that likes stuff like I do. I always knew that you guys would get along. Yeah, it was just like, it's cool. You know, it was like, it was like, a, like a kindred spirit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A brother, you know. Yes, like I uh, get it. A brother from another mother and another father. Yeah. So, yeah, I used to enjoy that very much. I have not had a cigar and a whiskey in... Uh, many, 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 many I want to say 10 years. Probably. Maybe. So, maybe maybe I should go give you a cigar this year. <laughs> okay. It's been a long I'm time. I'm sure he has some. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, he doesn't have kids. He can afford a lot Yes, he can afford a lot Ah, that's stuff. what it was. I started having <laughs> kids. <laughs> But I think that instead of uh, some whiskey this year, I might make you some mead. Yeah, well, mead sounds good. You know, a little sweet with the with the cigar. I actually have some mead in the shopping cart online. Yes. But do you think that the whole Thanksgiving celebration thing is more for families with children? Um, Just like most of these holidays, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Christmas. Like if you don't have kids, are you really celebrating this? Yeah, I think I think everybody does in some way. Everybody, if, if, even even if by, they're by themselves, you know, ever um, think about it, they end up, you know, getting dressed up and cooking something different for themselves, and I don't know, just kicking it. It's um, I remember when I was in the army, there was a uh, one of the guys was dating this this girl, um, and it was just her and, and her mom, I think, or grandma. And they had all of us over. Mm-hmm. They cooked for us and everything. And it was funny because, you know, it was like, you know, they were white people. And I thought that only, like, Hispanic people were, were like, old-fashioned like this. Okay. And she was like, get out of my kitchen. Go sit over there and watch football like man. You know? Okay. And, uh, and she was like, I'll bring you this. And you get one beers. And she was like, I feel bad because they were, like, the only two females, right? And they're, like, they were just trying to tend to. Well, it wasn't like eight of us. Yeah, but that was their pleasure. Like, yeah, but I was happy. like, yeah, I was like, thank you. And then you know, she, she, you know, it was, you know, she made us say grace, and she was a religious lady, and it was a beautiful grace, and uh, and then uh, she said that that it was nice to have men in the house, reminded her of her, her husband, yeah, know, her husband and everything. So it was, it was cool, you know. It was, it was nice. I'll never forget that. It was a nice experience. And then, you know, we had that one, I had other, other things came as well. I was in the army where I'm like, I went to a squad sergeant's or, you know, the platoon sergeant's house and they had us over and it was like, it was, it was cool. It was awesome. Yeah. And then I learned we're all the same. 
we're all the same. It doesn't matter what their skin color is. Yeah, it's you know, true. It's, uh, we're all the same. We all do similar things. Yeah. Well, like even my friends, when I was asking them about their meals, there was a lot of food involved. <laughs> So there's a seven of cake and sweet potato pies, barbecue turkey, um, mac and cheese, which she says is the bomb. Uh, mac and cheese. There's some people who make some delicious yeah. mac and cheese, um, especially yeah. when they put a little crisp of bacon in it. <laughs> yeah, she says she's actually in charge of the mashed potatoes and stuffing this year. Um, but, you know, those are some things that like that friend is having with her whole family. You know, they're all getting together. And then another friend. Yeah, she said they just do the traditional ham and turkey with the giblets and noodles. And it's a family tradition to have noodles. She didn't give too much detail on what that's about, but that was something she said. And then there's a cream corn dish. I love cream corn. That's definitely something I should probably learn to make. But then she says when she goes to her parents' house, it's a traditional turkey meal with, of course, some Mexican rice because, you know, Mexican. And then uh, my other friend, she was saying that, yeah, they celebrate Thanksgiving the weekend before and that it's pretty traditional. And she said that they're in charge of the mashed potatoes as well this year. <laughs> so, um, but they also thing. turn like the, the turkey when it doesn't get eaten, gets turned into empanadas and turkey tuna. So. Uh, you mind if I jump in here? Go ahead. Um, you said that, and I was, and I, and it was making me think. So, people, I started frying the turkey because uh, I was stationed in Fort Bragg, North Carolina, mm -hmm. uh, pretty much straight out of high school. I went to Fort Benning and Georgia, and then after that, I went to uh, Fort Bragg. I was there, so I really got uh, to know the South, like, uh, the Southern hospitality, and the people, and the way they did the stuff. And like I was saying, I was first, uh, you know, platoon sergeants or whatever, where, whoever I went. Um, you know, I though I had deer once in my life and it was horrible. I was like, this is I would never want to eat deer. Like, I can't believe this is what I'm eating. Mm -hmm. uh, I ate it from somebody that obviously didn't know how to cook deer because one of those Thanksgiving, one of the sergeants had killed the deer and he made all these different things with the deer. And I mean, everything. Yeah. Intestines, you know, everything. the whole thing, didn't sausages, go everything. Mm -hmm. It was so freaking delicious. It was so good. And then I went to another sergeant and, you know, he is the one that taught me how to deep fry the turkey. And I was curious. I was like, what do you mean, you know, deep fry a turkey, you know? Because everything's like, better fried. Yeah. And so he's like, no, peanut oil and temperature and here's the math and you have to do this and you have to rub it and prep it and you can inject it. But injecting is cheating. Sorry. That was his words, not me. Don't get mad at me. All right. If you inject it, I know I got one buddy that loves to inject his turkeys. Um, and... Uh, my problem growing up eating turkey was that I always complained that it was always uh, dry. Uh -huh. And the dark meat was perfect, but you know, the, the rest of it would was be, yeah. very dry. Mm -hmm. um, I learned that day that fried turkey is just perfection all the way around. All the way around. All the way around. Nice, soft, moist, juicy, just like everything in life should be. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I fell in love with it. So I was like, I got to do it. And I never got to do it until we were together and uh, tried it. And, and we it. just had one too many bad turkeys together. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, it's like uh, we need to start just It came out it. great. And then I started my own tradition of, you know, like uh, while I'm doing it, I would do the little intestines, the gizzards, the, mm -hmm. the heart. And I would fry it really quick and take it out and I'll make the kids eat it. Yeah. So, uh so, yeah, it was like our man thing, you know, uh, to do outside. But uh, I loved it. But whenever we had leftover with turkey, do you remember what we did with it? No, I don't remember. The right mole. Now. Oh, yes. We made turkey mole. Yeah, we would make turkey mole. And, oh, my goodness. It was so good. So freaking good. Well, okay, I think I'm going to have to bring a turkey for, for Christmas. I think we're going to have to get <laughs> one. Yeah. Christmas. Just so we can have turkey mole. Yeah. Even though we it need has a lot mole. of soy. I, I gotta make the, the mole from scratch. We so. gotta, That's why I was like Christmas is gonna take like December first, start prepping all the stuff for the mole <laughs> from scratch. Make it from you scratch. know, rotisserieing the peanuts and breaking it down and getting the chocolate. You know, my mom and, keeps talking about making tamales and and actually today she was looking at a recipe, uh papas uh rellenas. Oh okay. Which is a Peruvian dish. Okay. The the papas are, are like tacos. Right? No, no, it's actually like a mashed potato dough. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. And then they fill it, but they they form it, like they fill it with the meat. And my grandma used to put raisins and olives in it. Okay. And then they form it to look like a potato, and then they deep fry it. Well, that sounds that sounds pretty good. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, oh, I wonder if we could air fry those and if it'd be just as good. Well, yeah, because the potatoes in it kind of get smashed; they're already pretty much cooked. Yeah, they're already cooked. It's so, just you're just toasting it, and the and the you can filling do that in the oven, probably the filling it, probably on the grill, Maybe, probably on yeah. the grill. Like, the you know. filling inside is also smoke already it. cooked. Oh, smoking it! Oh, smoked mashed yeah. potatoes. That's interesting. I don't know. We might have to change up the menu a little. We'll see. Oh, Sounds Christmas. like a lot of work. We'll do it for Christmas. Yeah. Right. Uh, so okay, yeah. Well, uh, well oh, um, we didn't do a would you rather. You want to do a would you rather? You want to cover that? Because I I already know what the would you rather is going to be. What is it? Uh, okay, here you go. You ready? Yes. Would you rather have a big Thanksgiving with all your loved ones and family, or would you rather not celebrate it? And if you decide would you rather not celebrate it, what would you do? Uh, I would rather go on a road trip. <laughs> <laughs> you would rather go on a road trip. Be stuck in traffic on Thanksgiving Day. No, because everyone. Your destination where? Uh, I don't know. Some don't cabin. say Glamis because I'll be like. That's no, clamping. I know everybody goes to Glamis nowadays. <laughs> Everyone goes to yeah. Glamis. No, I am some cabin somewhere. I don't know. Just, I don't know. I just, I, I wouldn't mind going somewhere. I don't know. Huh. I've never really thought about where. I just have thought that it'd be nice. Even if it's to somebody else's house, I think I'd be okay. Just oh, as so long you as just I'm don't want to host. Hosting. So you don't want to host. You I don't want to do the cleanup afterwards. I just don't want to host. Yeah. <laughs> so I like celebrating Thanksgiving at my house uh, mainly because there's usually three football games. Uh, or like having that on the background while we're prepping our stuff and cutting and chopping up and everything. Yeah. And you know you get to sit down and watch some football and eat. And, yeah. Uh, so that's I, I I enjoy that. So yeah. to me that's part of my tradition. I I don't mind being home. I and once people are here, I'm fine. It's more of a you know, before I just really, I'm like, oh, I really don't want to host. I just, I think it's because we host all the time. Like every year, I'd like to go to my brother's house one year. I don't mind hosting. I, I, cause, uh, I know. For me, you, it's, I, I like to have, a, but, but you know what? But you the also people, like to be home. The only, yeah, exactly. It's my house. It's my, it's my house. Yeah. I can do whatever I want. You know, I can't watch football in other people's house, especially like your side of the family. Nobody watches sports. That's like, true. That's, they don't care for it. I do. That's true. We're different. We're we're different people. We're different stuff. Yeah. Now, if more people like me will come over, maybe like a friend or something, then it might be different. Then right? we need friends that yeah. Like but but even the people that I that I know that are like considered my friends, right? Like mm-hmm. let's just say Eddie for example. Mm-hmm. Like always Eddie and Luis for me. So let's just say Eddie. Like they end up driving up and down, and for them it's the same thing. It's San Diego to Riverside. To Riverside, yeah. They're driving around with the little one, and you know, and and Luis also, you know, has to go with his mom. And then his in-laws, or I think he said that the last couple of times, or the last time that the both families went to his to side. Him. That's nice. So, yeah, but, you know, like, I, I think they're pretty big families. So oh, okay. Small quarters for that many people. Perfect. Yeah. But that's the thing, though. That, that's what we talk about. We all start our own families. Like, yeah. we're not always going to be there. Like, there's a moment when we have to let, Go and then everybody's starting their own lives, and right? Their own, and then their own families, and... right? This is how things are born. But for the ones that are single that don't have kids, we're or their married. immediate family. Yeah. So they can still come to us, or we can go to them, or we can say, "How about you host this year?" I, I keep saying, but <laughs> but it's still we're still going to be the ones cooking because they're not still cooking. The ones cooking, we're still yes. the ones dragging yes. the food. We're yes. still going to be doing everything, yes. right? Yes. And I wonder if that's like a woman's touch. Yeah. Because think about oh, it. Oh, forget like, about it. Your brother hosted one thing and your mom was cooking for like days, prepping, yes. getting, chopping, every, just pre-prepping everything. Yeah. Well, what I mean, was he, that? For Easter. It was Easter? Yeah. Yeah. And, and ooh, I was like, oh my goodness. Like, I thought I was like getting ready for a wedding here. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. And then I have my other brother who lives closer. He's only like not even 30 minutes away. and And he's got... A house that would fit all of us very well, you know, for 
for yeah, a Yeah, but home. where are we going to sit? I know he doesn't have furniture, but, <laughs> but I mean, again, we furniture, would, but... we would have to take the, we would have to take tables and yeah. chairs so and, then and the why food. would you, yeah, tables, I know, chairs. I know. It's just, I just wish we could go somewhere else sometimes. It's not always here. I know you're fine with it, but for me, it'd be nice to just go somewhere else. Maybe we just go to a restaurant next time. Next year. Just go to a restaurant. What is that? Uh, the, the Christmas story? Like go to the Chinese place? Oh, yeah. The Chinese food on <laughs> like Thanksgiving. It's good. always open. No, too bad I don't like Chinese food. Oh, uh, so, yeah. Yeah. No. Well, so then you, you would rather not celebrate. So forget our cooking. Forget our favorite dishes. Forget, like, even if it was just us and we say, oh, no, we're not going to be in town. Let's just say we tell people, hey, we're not going to celebrate this year. We're not going to be in town. We're, gonna, we're not going to be here. Yeah. So that nobody has to come over. Uh-huh. You would still rather go on a road trip than that? If I'm telling people I'm not going to be here, yeah, I don't want to be here. Uh, But, no, the scenario was with everyone in your family well, right, and all your loved ones. Okay. That was the scenario. So we see we now okay. Now we're on to something. Now I'm thinking about it. Now I'm like, okay, hold on. So that would include your family, my extended family. Oh man. Whew. I can actually picture like your family sitting crutched all together in a couch, kind of cornering and shivering, like holding each other, whispering. <laughs> <laughs> While like my dad's side of the family is over there like being so loud and obnoxious and like punching each other out and getting hammered sh- like f- shit face drunk, making their rude jokes and their sexual double meaning stuff mm-hmm. and the women included and the kids running yeah what what, 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 what what's, what's wrong with women doing that like, women can do that you don't we, let me do that women are worse you're a lady. Okay. I'm a lady, a so You're I'm not allowed lady. to talk like that, but they yeah. are because yeah. they're not ladies. I, I, I didn't raise them. That's not my problem. That's my dad's <laughs> problem, not mine. <laughs> it's true. Our families have never. You know? Yeah. I think once at the baby shower. Oh, it was just your sister. It was just, no, nah, it, it was doesn't just your count. Sister. My brother. And then, and then, what was it? Uh, it was another baby shower where your dad came. Yeah, for our daughter. Oh, yeah, it was just my dad. Yeah. It was just your dad and your stepmom. And they're yeah. the only ones. But they left before the party actually started. So they didn't. Yeah, they it. saw enough. So they were like, I'm out. Yeah. 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 So, so we've never actually experienced both families together. And it's true. I don't think they would like each other. Yeah. <laughs> they're so. Yeah. You used to be like, I don't want to be here. Like they're so loud. Yeah, they're so loud. Like, oh. I so don't. yeah, so yeah, and like and you're thinking about having all that, and then, then there will be shocks. You know, like most likely, my brother and me will start punching so, each other. So uh, why are you surprised then that I would rather not, not be? here? <laughs> because I said your loved ones and my loved ones, so they're different, right? We yeah. don't have the same love people. Yeah, but even with my own loved ones, I would still rather not host. Yeah. So okay. you, you I would... think I'm with you. I think I... <laughs> You're with me now. <laughs> I think I'm with you. I think <laughs> I'm just thinking about broken bottles and and fights and. You don't yeah. think your family knows how to behave? I don't know. It's been so no. long. No, I saw them in chapters of my life, and every event that we went to, it something would always happen. Yeah, fight. Stabbing, shooting. Oh my gosh, that's horrible. Uh, people getting pregnant. Oh like, my goodness. <laughs> oh man, the my kid didn't do it. Your kid did it. You started it. No, you started it. Oh man, the kids are bad. Yeah. Or they were. Or the whole like, okay, okay, okay. So you, you think you're bad at because uh, you do jujitsu? Okay. What do you do? You do kickboxing? Okay. You guys fight, but don't hit in the face, okay? Hey, hey, what you got? 20 on him? All right. And then everybody starts, <laughs> like, their own little fight club, like, their own betting thing. Like, they're, like, little <laughs> cock fights and stuff. You know, our son's been asking about fight club. He wants to watch fight club. Yeah. Well, that's different than living the fight club. Yeah, that's true. I'm grateful uh, he's not living the fight club. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, he thinks he's all tough, but he wouldn't He, he would wouldn't not. last a party in my family. No, he would get mad. He would hate your family. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially when they start making like, no hablo, kid. Hey, no hablo. 
maybe 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 we're wrong maybe maybe i'm wrong maybe the maybe newer the newer fine. kids in the family will be fine yeah maybe they're different be fine. you know everybody's so different now so yeah um you know what you were thinking about the dishes and i know that i said i wanted menudo this year but oh, i'm contemplating yes, it menudo. i'm contemplating maybe a cow cow you want cow cow oh god well nobody got grandma's recipe <laughs> So right, um, there's this thing called the World Wide Web. I know, but and it's then you go not in here, the same. And then you go, cow, cow, <laughs> and it says chow chow, cow <laughs> <laughs> cow de pollo, cow cow peruano, cow cow de mondongo, oh, de mondongo, that? Oh, that one, de mondongo. Mm. And for those of you who don't know what mondongo is, it's tripe, tripe. Or in Spanish, in Mexican Spanish, it's, what is it? Menudo. Menudo. Okay. <laughs> What's the meat called? Menudo. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> That's the name of the soup. <laughs> Menudo. That's the only way we eat it. Uh, okay. Well, he doesn't know what it's called in Mexican Spanish. But in Peru, they say mondongo. So, but Yes. Man, you get a nice line. It also has potatoes. Yeah, we Peruvians put potato in everything. <laughs> everything. Well, that's true because remember when we watched that one uh, Netflix special with Zac Efron? Yeah, with a gazillion different. Yeah, all these different colored potatoes and stuff like that. Or something like that. 3,600, so, whatever. Yeah, and they're getting ready different for space. Varieties. Yeah, so. Oh, well. Well. It has the typical, typical ingredients from, according to this. Uh, you know, garlic and you know. Hey, we're not a cooking and, show. Just <laughs> yerba buena, perejil, sal, pimienta, comino, oregano. You're All just right. making yourself hungry. Well, it's pretty good. The last time I had your grandma's cow cow was for my 30th birthday. It's when been I a was minute. So drunk. Yes. So I was horrible. People. I was pregnant. Yeah. And he was very drunk. All I know is that. Uh, I got in a fight with my reflection in a mirror. Yes, he did. I remember two women trying to take advantage of me in a shower. <laughs> no one was trying to take advantage of you. Just yeah, trying you to wake trying you to, up. You guys were trying to throw me in the shower. Well, yeah, because you were in the backyard laying in your own puke. No, I was trying to drink my own puke because I was wasting. Was so gross. <laughs> yes, I remember. I was there. You don't have to remind me. Wild turkey honey people. Highly recommend it. So uh, let me let us know. Let us know if we're not alone on this, on the whole family thing. If what, what would you guys rather do? Would you rather be with all your loved ones and say, "Who cares about it?" Uh, families fight. People are different, and they argue. And you know, uh, might as well enjoy it now because one day that family is going to get smaller and smaller because you know, with time, people die and they go away. Mm -hmm. Or do you rather just say? Forget that. I want to be by myself and I want to do my own thing and I want to go on a road trip in the cabin away from everyone. And uh, Or you just do what everybody else does and bear. go to Glamis. <laughs> no, I don't want to go to Glamis. <laughs> we need an army I think for that. I think that if you go... Didn't you say your brother? My brother, uh, Rick, the one that passed away, uh, he started doing it when, I think when I was in high school. He would go after his divorce. It was after his divorce, I remember that. He would go to Glamis on his uh, our, uh, toy box, take the buggy and the quads, and take the kids, and then later on his granddaughters. And, you know, he did that. He did that. And, yeah, he used to say, he went from being, you know, a couple of RVs to 10 to 18 to 40 to hundreds now. You know, it's yeah. just so many RVs on top of each other. And so you're feeding strangers, or you're kicking out with strangers, or you're hanging out with strangers now. I mean, it was the same thing. Might as well just stay at your house. Ah, oh, but it's it's it is cool being out in the desert at night. I think seeing it's the stars. gorgeous. I mean, Cold I'm not hell. saying I want to go to Glamis. I'd be fine camping. Like we've talked about that. Like, oh, we technically we would go camping for Thanksgiving with your friends once upon a time. Yeah, 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 yeah. We actually uh, it was always in November. Uh, usually the week before Thanksgiving, we would go out to uh, get some cabins. Uh, Lake Mor Morena. Lake Morena. Lake Morena, mm -hmm. right? I remember right now where it was. Uh, yeah, Lake Moreno, we'll get some uh, cabin. It was, we were going on Friday, and we will get it on Saturday. Saturday night, we would do that whole potluck thing. You know, yeah. everybody will bring something. 
uh, it's just a group of, 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 you know, the guys from work and their wives and, and their kids. And most of their kids were already kind of teenagers. And we, we take were, up the whole row of cabins. Yeah, the whole little section went there where there used to be a lake, but it was mostly all, all That's dried all down, out. Yeah. Uh, we were going on a little hike trips or we would go to the train station to take the tour, mm -hmm. look at all the old trains, which I learned that I loved that when I did that. I was I didn't know that I, I would fall in love with trains that much. Uh I, I was we like, still haven't done the the trip, that yeah. ride. Mm -hmm. the yeah, ride. That, that was coming up. Uh, I want to do that still, but um, yeah, we used to do that, and yeah. then we stopped. We stopped. Um, it's kind of one of those friends where you're around, but outside out of mind. Yeah, I guess so. So, but I still love you, Louis. Uh, well, yeah. that celebrations and a little bit on you know different traditions and. Making your own traditions right. for your own families, you know, changing it up. Maybe, maybe you can do your Thanksgiving thing that you get to go to somebody else's house and kick it with them. And maybe I was just going on a hunting trip. Oh, you mean next year? Yeah. You have been wanting to go hunting. Yeah, consider it hunting for the Christmas dinner. Hunting for Christmas dinner? Yeah. You're going to go hunting for Christmas dinner while I go do Thanksgiving with the kids? Yeah. At somebody else's house. Yeah, that's what you wanted, right? I mean, not exactly, but sure, that's fine. I mean, why must you drag me to somebody else's house? <laughs> you just really don't want to go somewhere else. <laughs> oh, well. I just don't fit in. It doesn't matter. This year we'll be home. I just don't fit Again. in. You know? You think I do? I yeah, don't. Yeah, but people are used to that. They're your family. They have to put up with you. You know, they're used to you. Yeah. I'm the extra baggage, you know. Shut up. They're all married, too, or got boyfriends or girlfriends or whatever. Everyone's got baggage, baby. Yeah. I didn't get to cover something else. What? Oh, well, never mind. I just I wanted to talk about movies and notable mentions that I don't know if you know this, since I really enjoy movies and we enjoy watching movies together. Thanksgiving is usually the big, like, movie uh, weekend opening weekend for stuff so i kind of i was curious and i looked into like the top movies right for thanksgiving openings and uh Just only give us the two no three. on the on the top 10 there was only two movies that were not disney movies oh okay. so i was like i was amazed by that i was like wow i can't i can't imagine that out of all the time all these movies that have been made like disney is just you know killing it are during they releasing the anything this yeah, Week? they are. They're releasing that new movie, Wish. Oh. Uh, the girls are already talking about it. Okay. Uh, Isn't Trolls coming out too? Yeah, that's another one, but that's not Disney. Is that's it? not Dreamworks, Disney. Yeah, Dreamworks, yeah. Well, so, Disney. number three is Moana with uh, 82. Okay. Uh, there's other numbers in there, but I'm just rounding off, right? Uh, number two, I couldn't believe this was number two, was Ralph Breaks the Internet. I can't believe that either. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 84 and three people quarters. People liked Ralph that much. Well, I the sequel thing, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and at number one, the movie that we didn't even know about it, and then we became parents of little girls, and, and we were we like, understand. we understand. Yeah. So Frozen, ladies and gentlemen, is the all-time number one Thanksgiving opening. That's crazy. Movie at. I wonder. 90 Three and a half I bet you it's it's really good. Five days. It's smart marketing because families are together. Yeah, kids are on school break. Yeah, kids are on break. Families are together. So what are they gonna do? Yeah, let's go watch let's a movie. Let's go watch a movie. Mommy goes or daddy goes black black black, uh, black, black Friday, Friday shopping and we'll go catch oh, a movie. That's another thing. Like, because we we touched on the fact that your brother used to come over or your nephew brother he used to come over but the other reason they don't come over anymore is because they're those people who go get in line at like 8 p.m the night right. before Best Buy and Walmart. <laughs> yeah to get their black friday deals at midnight and so so uncivilized i like i'd why? rather have my butler call on cyber monday on cyber monday <laughs> but like have you ever been black friday shopping hell no i went I think once or twice in my early 20s with my cousin. That's a ripoff. And yes. I mean, I didn't buy anything at that time, but it was crazy to me to see people fighting. 
Like yeah, so I worked at Circuit City. Uh-huh. You guys are old enough. You remember that? Um, I worked at Circuit City, and uh, prices will go up on stuff. I'm not the only. They're not the only ones that did it. People still do this. No, my but, mom and my cousin told me the same yeah, thing. Yeah, and like the month before or so, the prices go up slowly on all the inventory stuff. So that when the actual Black Friday stuff comes out, they put it back to what the prices they used to be at, and they say regular price, you know, two ninety nine now for one eighty nine or whatever. Even though, so it looks like oh, it's a hundred bucks off. Yeah, awesome. You know, cool. But if you weren't paying attention, you didn't realize that the price had actually right. increased from and, a couple of months. Before. And then at the same time, they get all these random. Um, made in Taiwan and China stuff, like cheapy stuff that comes in just for the Black Friday celebration stuff that they put there, like the door buster things that when you come in, like those TVs or whatever. Not uh, that, yeah, they're cheapy and they're they have very low prices. Or they're like, oh yeah, but it only has like one HDMI output, or mm-hmm. you know, it doesn't have all the features. Or yeah, the refresh for the megahertz is slower or whatever. It has like maybe a year or two. Yeah, they're great. They're great buys for the moment. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, they're yeah. It's just it's just yeah. It's just uh, yeah. a gimmick. So I never believed on it, and I hated working it. I had to work it. Uh, I was young, you know. So um, yeah. It, I, it, you get to see how some people are, are like. Oh yeah, my, goodness. my well, my so my cousin that married your brother. Oh okay. Her sister is the uh, one I went shopping with, and it was just. Ridiculous, because like she's running around like a crazy person with a shopping cart and a TV and the clothes and all this stuff, and I'm just like, why are we in a rush? Yeah, like, I don't the get clothes, it. Like, the clothes, me, I get dumb. it, but well, they're like, they're like so like two seasons ago. <laughs> well, and then the the one the the cousin that married your brother nephew. We gotta figure out a way to stay there. Just say, <laughs> yeah, just say my brother. The, your brother. Um, she used my to work. Padre, which is my she used compadre. to work retail also, and she, and she learned me, it. And yeah, she, she told me the same I thing told you her, told right, me. You know, yeah. But yet they still go get in line. I mean, there are times when there's some good stuff, but like yeah. I said, some of the stuff is like cheap, old yeah. already. No, no, older, not just cheap, but there's there's brand stuff. Don't yeah. get me wrong. There's still stuff that's brand. But it's like old models, you know, the mm-hmm. TVs. Yeah. We see it. We see it. Or or whatever. Anyways. Not, yeah, it's old inventory. They just bring back out. They had the overstock from a year ago. And hey, let's let's get rid of this yeah. stuff, you know. Uh, they had all these returns that they just repackaged. Or, or it's just stuff that said that they never sold online. Well, the, the they bring census. It I did a, a quick census with my friends. And none of them have ever been. Well, they're smart. <laughs> they're like, they're like we have no interest in going and, and it is smart because it's so it's real a quick crazy waste of time before we go anywhere uh-huh. you almost got off the hook so last episode my wife was going to go out for breakfast with her friends these other friends that she's talking about for references for thanksgiving <laughs> i guess i had a good time a really good time because my wife really didn't tell me much about it there was nothing to tell but overall was it a nice <laughs> brunch it was a nice brunch it Did was you nice enjoy to it? catch up with my friends it was a little i didn't feel like a super bond tightness. yeah like it was nice to see them yeah yeah sisterhood of the traveling None of that. Thing. no 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 i everyone's got ish you know we're all it's going life in yeah. life you know we've Parents. all got stuff going on very personal things some of us and um we talked a little bit about things but so, so the, not, you guys are not doing this anymore then? It's not good. No, no. We do want to get together again. And I think there's like an Indian food place that they wanted to try and this Mexican restaurant that's also right there that they wanted to try. They also want to go um, flea market shopping, which is not something that I've ever been into. But, I mean, if it's just to hang out with them. Well, I'm, I'll I'm go in your place. Try. I know you like to go to swap meets and flea markets but that's just not something i ever got into so like when they were like oh we should go do this i was like uh yeah i I don't think i've ever done that like it's just not my thing well yeah i'm pretty sure if you tell them you want to go rock buying they're not gonna gonna be yeah if i say oh let's go to a quartz site in arizona and look at rocks yeah same thing yeah yeah Yeah. so it's just everybody has different everyone's got their thing all right well let's call it okay we're wishing you guys a happy thanksgiving Enjoy your meals. Enjoy your meals. Enjoy your loved ones. Enjoy your time together. Be thankful for what you have. 
because remember there's a lot of people that don't have what you have yeah. and so yeah be safe out there please don't drink and drive and uh go, 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 go. <laughs> good night <laughs>